I hope you all have you know, a great day. It's a fantastic weather here in the UK again, which means I am going to go and do another run today. It's going to be a short one. I'm going to do a 3K. I'm going to do it for time. My target is going to be around 15 minutes. So wish me luck. Afterwards, I have a very quick session to do as well, which is going to be 20 minutes arm wrap. In other words, as much round as possible. I'm going to share the exercises with you shortly, so stay tuned. It's going to be an amazing workout, and I hope you, I think you'll love it. I think you're going to enjoy it. So, I just came back from the run, guys. If I have to be honest with you, I am not very happy with the results. I'm not sure what happened, but right after the first K, I got a stitch, you know, right here. The ones you get next to the ribs, it's like very sharp pain. Uh, I had to stop for a minute. Whilst I took, whilst I was on a break, I felt okay that I kept on running, but um, it came back. So I managed to finish a 3K within 15 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, I'll, I'll tell you that considering the circumstances, you know. So now we're going to do 20 minutes, arm wrap as much rounds as possible. So you do 10 burpees, you do 20 chair step over, then you do 10 dips on the chair, on the same chair that you step on, and then you do 20 sit-ups, that's one round. And you try to complete as many rounds as possible in 20 minutes. I'm gonna show you the exercises before I start. So I need another minute, a break, but after we finish the, uh, the 20 minute arm wrap, we're gonna do some stretching and we're gonna use this form roller as well. Uh, if you don't have this, I've, I've shown you in one of my previous videos um, how you can improve your mobility and flexibility without any equipment. So you can do those exercises instead. Uh, but stay with me, I'll show you the exercises in a second. Yes guys, we are ready to start. So 20 minutes. Arm wrap as much rounds as possible. 10 burpees, 20 chair step over. You know what the burpees are? I've showed you in the previous videos because I've done a lot of those. Go on the floor, stretch, push yourself up and jump. That's a burpee, 10 of those. Then 20 chair step over. Do one, two, I need to be careful not to break my head up here. 20. Those, then 10 dips. Grab yourself on the chair. You might as well just hold, your, hold yourself on the side. And from here, do 10 dips. And once you finish this, you do 20 sit-ups. those. You've got 20 minutes. That's your time cap. It's going to be a sweaty one, short and sweaty. Let's go! one round done. After each round you can rest 10 seconds, catch your breath, recover and then when you start the round give it your all basically.
Get your bread. 10 seconds. Is that going to cost you the workout? Make sure you take these breaks because it helps you, your body, to recover for the next round. And when you start, give it your all. Put it all round, basically. Three rounds done in 10 minutes with a lot of talking. All right, see how I can close this work if I can close it with six rounds, maybe six and a half. I think I run out of time, but I'm going to finish the 10 burpees anyway. And I hope you will count these to my results. Oh. Oh. Honestly, that was probably the hardest workout I've done at home so far. Finished the workout nearly two minutes ago. Still trying to catch my breath. Overall, within six rounds and let's say eight burpees. I finished at 10. I think within the 30 seconds, I finished eight. That was the beginning of seven rounds. So six rounds full and eight burpees. Overall, I've done 67 or 68 burpees, 120 chair step over, 10, uh, sorry, 60 dips, chair dips, and then 120 sit-ups in 20 minutes. You can see how much I sweat during this workout. And I know a lot of people are having really hard time 
with this lockdown, no matter where you are in the world, you know, whether you're in Europe, whether you're in the States, whether you're somewhere else, um, nobody expects you to gain a massive amount of muscle, of body weight, unless you have a gym or a crossfit box in your backyard, um, you're not going to be able to. Um, uh, I think it's very important during these times to try to improve on your areas um, where, let's say, you're not particularly good. Um, so, f for example, for me, this will be, you know, bodyweight exercises because I'm quite heavy. I'm about 95 kilos, uh, but I've come down from nearly 135, 140 kilos. So that is about 100, 100 pounds of weight loss uh, overall during the last 10 years. Um, you know, the least you can do is try to improve on the areas um, that you want to. Like, as I was gonna say, uh, for me, that's body weight exercises like burpees, push-ups are not very strong for me. You know, I'm trying to learn handstand push-ups as well uh, because I've recently got involved into uh, CrossFit about five months ago now. Um, yeah, I started doing some cleans, clean and jerks, um, you know, thrusters and some other, let's say, typical CrossFit exercises. Um, at least they're most done in the CrossFit community and CrossFit boxes. I'm not saying that nobody else does them, but anyway, that was my point. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to gain a massive amount of muscle, but at least you can maintain what you already have. You know, stay fit, get active. Now is not the time to throw the towel and give up on your goals, on your dreams. You know, uh, binging, start binge eating all the time, watching Netflix, um, not be active, not do anything except eating and going to the shop and watch Netflix. I think now is the time where you can use to actually get active. I personally do, uh, without the running, uh, I do around 10 to 15,000 steps a day. I'm currently in the UK. We are allowed to go uh, once a day to the shop and once a day for exercise, that being cycling or running or you know just for a walk down the river, whatever. It's really up to you. So I try to do my 10,000 steps and I would go to the shop, even if I need to buy, uh, you know, uh, some simple ingredients like bread or milk or whatever. And then I'll go out and do my run as well. So the other day I did a 10K. Um, I also went to the shop, which is quite far away from where I live. And overall I did 25,000 steps. I burned 4,300 calories for this day. Um, just because I can't go to the gym doesn't mean I'm going to give up and stop exercising. In my next video, I'm going to record, I've come up with a list uh, for you with about 30, 40 odd exercises that you can actually do at home without any equipment or with minimum equipment. Um, so stay tuned. I'm going to record this video and upload it on my YouTube channel. In the meantime, please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, for, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I really hope you enjoy the content and I'll see you in my next video. In the meantime, stay safe and look after yourselves. I'll see you soon. Hi guys, it's me again. Um, took a shower after the workout, read a bit of a book that I'm reading currently. And made my lunch, which I'm going to show you now. The calories, again, are quite high. But I did burn about 900 calories today in the workout, let alone any other exercise or activity. So I am currently on 3,000 calories burned. But I have consumed about 550 uh, from my breakfast and about 250 from my smoothie. And... In this meal, we have two skinny burger beef patties, which are 5% fat. Uh, we have the tins, the bread, the avocado, a little bit of feta cheese for taste because I don't have any uh, cheddar. And then I have some cherries and a little bit of extra rocket. Now, all of this is 
70 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, and about 30 grams of fat. And I'm going to enjoy this. Look at that. 